Freezing cold temperatures did not come soon enough to stop around 200 ice anglers from essentially floating away yesterday. Yeah, a little touch and go yesterday. Our BCO mm -hmm. Nilly Erie following that rescue all afternoon yesterday. Yeah. And so everybody did make it to safety, which is good. But the local fire department and the rescue crew is saying this is a really good reminder that you have to be careful with the ice. And this time of year, it's just not safe yet. It's not. You have to be careful. The fire chief had a lot to say this afternoon. He told me that yesterday's incident shows that getting out on the ice always comes with risks. Fire Chief Rick Thayer said that changes in the weather conditions on Upper Red Lake caused the ice to shift. The first call for help went out at around 1130 Monday morning. That's when a large chunk of ice broke free from the main shoreline. Up to 30 yards of open water, he said, left dozens of anglers stranded. Chief Thayer said that it wasn't until rescue teams arrived on scene that they realized a whole lot more people needed to be evacuated. Take a listen. What we found was is there was a large crack of ice, um, approximately 30 yards um, in width with the wind that was blowing had drifted apart um, the ice at Red Lake. And, and there was about a dozen anglers at that point um, that we could see from shore that uh, we're gonna need assistance. And at approximately 20 minutes in on that rescue, we found out that there was approximately 100 plus more to the east of us that uh, we're also having the same problem at a different access. Kelly or Fire Chief Thayer said that it took about three hours to get more than 200 anglers off the ice. A temporary bridge was brought in to help people cross the open water. Located about 300 miles north of the Twin Cities, Upper Red Lake is a very popular fishing destination. The Fire Chief said that yesterday's incident is another reminder of the importance of ice safety. You're standing on top of a, a body of water that has a certain amount of ice on there and weather conditions, wind conditions, um, the way things freeze, moving water can change the conditions of the ice at any given time. So no ice is 100% safe. It's, uh, you have to check the ice as you're going and just, you know, like I said, pay attention to your surroundings. While everyone on the ice was dressed for the conditions, I'm told that many were lacking safety gear such as ice picks. The chief said that an ice pick is an important tool that has the potential to save your life. Amy.